Hello and welcome back to On The Workbench. Today we're taking a look at this Bliss Lights Skylight, I guess we'll call it a night light or starry night light, intended to display what looks like the stars on the sky of your bedroom, your home theater room, or somewhere else in your house to create a just a nice sense of ambiance. This is the blue variety. They also make it in green. I've not seen the green, but just the idea of green seems less appealing to me in blue. So I've already cheated and I've already opened this up because I'm gonna show you something here about this when we get through the package. So we look at the package here, this sells for about $70, give or take. Nothing too exciting on the package. All right, so let's open this up. And so with this light, you get a manual, more paperwork, and we have the light. So the first couple things here that we're gonna notice about this is the power source. The power source is simply just a USB block that then goes into a barrel connector. And so we've got USB to USB right here, male to female type A. And so that's gonna be important for one of the things that we're gonna be looking at in a few minutes. The next thing, all right, here is the projector. I've already pulled off the plastic off of this. So one and we've got the lens, we've got two lenses, one for the stars and the other one for the nebula that moves. There's a few different modes that you can uh, use with this projector. And then we have the buttons here. The first one on top is a push on and off momentary button. And that is the first issue that we're gonna have with this, is if we wanna make this smart, so this is gonna be a birthday gift for my daughter and I wanna put this up high on her shelf or her little brother can't uh, get to it, pull it down. And so I want my daughter to be able to talk to it, and by it I mean Google, to turn this on or off. The problem is it doesn't understand this momentary switch, so we have a problem. And so that's why I'm showing you this video today, because we're going to be talking about how to hack this light to make it smart and useful in your smart home. So we're going to set the box aside, and then now with a Phillips head screwdriver, we can go in and we can open up the case screws, there's a couple of screws here on the top. There we go, and so now with the four case screws removed, we can take off the top plate here. This will just slide off. And there is this glass on the side here that you wanna make sure you keep clean, but then you can just set it aside, as you can see the little switch buttons here live by themselves and they just push down on the panel. So what I've done to this, now you wanna make sure this is clean, is this switch right here, the one that I'm gonna call the top side or the one that's closest to the projection lens, I have went through and I have found a jumper wire and then I soldered a jumper wire from the upper right to the, over, to the lower left to now effectively bypass this momentary switch here so we can make this smart. So now you don't have to press it to turn it on. All you have to do is just simply add power to it. And so just a short little loop of wire and a little bit of soldering, and you can do that. And so then that's gonna be step one, is to modify the inside of the case to make this work. I'm not gonna show you the soldering here. I've already done it, very simple here. Just go corner to corner, a little loop of wire, tuck it out of the way, and there's plenty of room in this case for that mod. And now we're gonna put the case back together. Make sure you get the lens in correctly and you keep that nice and clean. There is this little extra little front leg here that you can pull out, depending upon how you want this angle between these two legs here, or these two legs, and this can come out. I could see for some small children, you may not be too excited about the prospect of that. But it is what it is, and they're giving you options, and as parents, you can always make the decision for how uh, to best keep your house safe for your children. So now we're just going to put the screws back in here. So now that we've got the case modded, now we're going to pull out our second little secret weapon to this, and this is going to be a sonar, a sonar inline USB Wi-Fi smart switch. So this is simply just 
male to female USB type A, and this does connect to Wi-Fi. And so I've already paired this up to my Wi-Fi network and have that now tied into Google Home. Once you set up the Sonoff switch and then go into the Google Home app on your phone, and then it should be able to detect that this is on the network and then walk you through the prompts to be able to add it. And so that we can take this and then put this in between our connections like this. So once you've got this adapter set up in Google Home or your other home management software, you can probably say something along the lines of, okay, blank, turn on the night sky. And then you could also have other routines and checks to say that this, to make sure it's turned off by 7.30 in the morning or whatever time that you know your kids are out of bed or other routines to make sure that it's not on or left on all night to be able to manage it. So the other thing that this lends itself to here is you could also put this in line if you had a USB adapter in between to be able to extend the length of this. And so the adapter that comes with this is just a basic, uh, it's 0.2 amps. So this is not a very high amperage device. This is very low amperage draw. And so I know it's a little awkward when you start adding these two devices here piggy tailed together. But if you had a outlet that already had USB built into it, like a lot of outlets you can get now, or even power strips that have USB, you can simply just plug this with this adapter into the power strip and be good to go. And then you could drop this block off altogether. And now with the soldering hack on the inside and the sawn off USB switch, we now have a smart bliss skylight. Granted, it, won't, it doesn't have the modes, but the other modes I think are kind of uh, silly, the button here just basically starts or stops the movement of the nebulous and then the other one button affects how bright it is. From what I've played with it so far, there's really no reason to use those other modes. Just let it go off or on and you're good. Just another quick aside about this, because this is powered by USB, we can use a battery adapter. This is a cobalt 24 volt battery adapter. You can plug it into that and power it solely off that. Granted, it won't always work with the Wi-Fi adapter, but I've got it on there here just for show that you can power the Wi-Fi adapter and that device off your battery. So even if you have a power outage, you could still run this tool, I'm sorry, run this light with one of your tool batteries. Okay, I'll turn on the night sky. Okay, I'll turn off the night sky. And so because this draws so few amps, you can easily power it off your power tool batteries. Obviously the larger battery is gonna last longer. I've not done any testing to measure exactly how long it'll last off of it, but it should at least last long enough to get your kids to bed. So even if there's a power outage, you can still put it on. So I'll put links to these products below here on Amazon. You can pick those up if you wanna do this here. You'll need to have your own soldering iron and a little length of wire. You need about two inches, two and a half inches, some wire strippers and some solder to be able to complete that. And then you've got a fully smart Bliss Light skylight. Found this video useful and interesting? Give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you back here soon, and have a great day. Bye.